Welcome back to our Java video series. In this video, we're going to test and tweak our guessing game with JSP only version. Let's begin by recalling what we created and see how it runs. As we created our application, we built a game number.java class to provide a model for the numbers in our game. In addition, we've created a component that's really not part of the application, but just used to test the game number.java, and that's the game number test.java JUnit test. Two other main components of our application are the index.jsp. If you recall, this is going to handle showing us the initial view, and it will also get the first guess from the user. All other guesses will be handled from game.jsp component. Let's see how that runs and maybe adjust a few things in our views. To start, right click on the project name, select Run As, and choose Run on Server. You may want to check manually to find a new server if you need to in your installation. Also make sure that you're choosing the J2EE preview if you've been following along and have set up your Eclipse like mine. Hit next, just checking to see that this is the only one running, and hit finish. Your default browser, either the tab in Eclipse or another browser on your machine will open up and show us the first page. This is the view from index.jsp. Let's have a quick look at this. This page looks good. I don't see anything I'm going to want to change here. Let's enter a number to guess. Notice because we're using a get as our method in the form tag, all of the data, including the target, are concatenated to the URL at the top. We'll change that before this video is done to see what the difference is if we change that to post. But for now, we know that the target is 66. Let's see, one thing we're going to tweak later is that too high, we're going to get rid of the period. Otherwise, I think we're pretty good to go with this application. Oh, let's guess something a little high. 100. Also too high. Guess number three. Let's guess lower. 55. Guess higher this time. Let me go ahead and guess with 66. And hit go. Got it right in four guesses. Everything seems to work fine. If I hit the play again, it goes back to index.jsp, and I can start over. Close out my browser. I'm going to delete my server so that when I run it next time, it's a brand new application. One thing we wanted to tweak, and we can do that now, is go to game.jsp. In the view, we had just a minor typo in the message where we say too high exclamation point period. We only need one of those punctuation marks for each of those items. If there were other things to change, we could go back and tweak those now. We're going to run it again in a moment to see if that change has been made. But first, let's think about what's happening when we run this program. The client side is where your browser resides. On the server side, we have the web server, which will handle the requests and send a response. The application that we made works on the server side in order to take that request and figure out what response needs to be sent, create that response, and then hand it back to the web server to send back to the client. So what's going on when we run this application? The first request comes in, maybe something linked to your application from some other application, maybe a game site. In our case, it's just starting to run the server, but in real world, it might be somebody types in the URL or clicks on a link to get to your page. This goes to the index.jsp for the request. Any data that goes along, in this case, may just be where you're located, your IP address, the date, the time, your operating system, other things that the browser knows about you. When the request comes in to the web server, every time a new request comes in, a new request object and response object are created by the server. Recall that the request object holds the data about the request and provides methods for us to access that data. The response is an object that will hold all of the response that we want to send back to the client. It's created right away so that it's available for us as we're working through our application to keep writing things to the response. It also includes methods for us to work with the response as well. Next thing that will happen on each request, the web server will determine what asset has been requested and try to fire that up. In this case, we're asking for the index.jsp file. 
Recall, as index.jsp is running, it will declare and instantiate an object of the game number class, and it will use this as it runs the game. As the logic of index.jsp plays out, it will create a view and add that to the response, and the response will send that back to the client so that we can see the index view. This is our first page with the guessing game message introduction and a form to let us guess the number. So we put in a number, we click on the submit button, a brand new request is sent, showing the previous request kind of ghosted out here so you can kind of see what has gone before, but those do not exist anymore. So when a new request comes in, the server once again has to create a brand new request object and brand new response object. The request and response object from the previous request response pair have disappeared, as have the versions of index.jsp and the game number object from before. From index view, the request is asking for game.jsp. Game.jsp, just like index.jsp, will declare and instantiate a game number object, use it in its logic to create the response. The response is eventually done. We've determined what the outcome of the guess is and created the appropriate view. And now the response can be sent back by the server. All those things that were created on the server side have disappeared once the response is sent. Once the response gets back to the client, we see the game view, appropriate message, whether to guess higher or lower, or it's correct. If it's guess higher or lower, we also see a form. We can add a new guess and the cycle begins again, going back this time to game.jsp. Pretty much that cycle continues game view to game.jsp until the correct value has been guessed. Let's think about another important concept in how we're running this game, get versus post. As we ran the game, any data that was entered into the form, including the hidden text boxes, was actually concatenated to the URL because we are using the get method. Let's tweak it again before we run it and change the method to post and see the difference. What should happen is the game will still run as before, but all of the data will be hidden. Here we are back in Eclipse. Let's go to our index.jsp and tweak it a little bit so we can see the difference between a get and a post. In the form tag, find the method argument and change that to post. Be sure to save. And do the same thing in the form tag of game.jsp. What we should see when we run this is that there's virtually no difference in running the code except for the fact that we do not see values concatenated to the URL. So right click, run as, run on server, Check that you have the right server and hit next. You can check this and hit finish. Wait a moment, your browser should appear with the results of the index.jsp view. Here's the index.jsp view. Recall the request went in, request and response object were created. Index.jsp was the requested asset, so it ran in the course of running it. It declared and instantiated a game number object, used that for its logic, and created this view, which was sent back to the client. All the items created on the server have been destroyed, are no longer there, but we do have this view on the client, ready to make a new request. Let's view the page source so we have an idea what our target value is. 769. So I'm going to open my guess with 500, as I usually do hit go. See that I'm too low. Let's guess higher this time. Notice that no values, no data values are concatenated to the URL because we changed from get method to post method. Let's go with 800, too high. Let's go with 750, too low. And let's guess it right this time, 769. Got it right in four guesses. All that time, no data was concatenated to the URL because we're using the post method this time. At this point, you should have a reasonable idea of how a JSP-based web application works. This has been a Piercy production.